Eric Keery for this guy. My air album review. Let's chat about it. Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning. Here tonight to chat about this new Harakiri for the Sky album. These guys are a Austrian black metal band. And since I heard them years ago, their sound just clicked with me perfectly. I found them and got into them around the time of like the height of my Panopticon and Alcest fandoms. Their 2012 self-titled debut, I absolutely adored this. It was brutal and pumbling and had a great bite to it as well. But like their contemporaries, it was triumphant, yet sort of tragic at times. Now their follow-up, Aoki Gahara, was probably my least favorite of theirs. It was just very decent. It was emotionally potent and all, but I felt like the band was trying way too many new things here and not really focusing on what made them so decent already. However, I did get back into them with the incredibly well-written and raw trauma. And while in my re-listens for this review, I worried that maybe I had lessened on their 2018 album, Arson, but honestly, it's really well done. Now, it's been a minute since we've heard from these guys. They don't, you know, release album after album. They take their time between albums and really focus. And these new singles have had them sounding very refreshed, which I love. This album starts off with I Pull Bearer. I love the slow pace and just how slowly this one builds it. Really gives us this very cinematic feel to it. And like so much of the great work from Harakiri from the Sky in the past, it's very emotionally potent. It's got a lot of heart to it. Don't ever let your guard down with these guys. It is vicious and it will come back to bite you in the ass. When this one eventually takes off, it's just as anthemic and grandiose as I hoped for. The vocals are just so harsh. The guitars are just so soaring. It is great. The final heavier two minutes are like just what the doctor ordered. And that finale, the little piano bit at the end, genuinely almost brought a tear to my eye. It is an awesome opener. Then we have Sing for the Damage we've done featuring Nij from Alsay. This is a really nice treat. And honestly, it sounds a whole lot like some of the work from Alsay. It's so epic. It's even more vast and cinematic, which I didn't think was possible at this point. But it's also absolutely soul-crushing. You could never sort of take your eye off this. Hearing some of these passages, I'm shocked that this is even the same band. They sound heavier than ever. The harsh vocals, the throttling drums, these epic power chords. It all just gives me the chills. And Nige also brings just enough of a sense of mystery to this track. Us Against December Skies, on the other hand, may be the most straightforward track here. It is triumphant from the word go, and these guitars just sound like they're going to take off immediately, and they do. But at the same time, there is a great tragic side to this track. It sounds so heartfelt. It's just, to me, at the moment, seems to be hitting everything I love in black metal and black gaze. Not only that, but it reminds me of what I loved about the classics, too. It's just the right balance of epic, intense, and gorgeous, too. And I'm All About the Dusk is my favorite track here. Here. From the slow pace but larger than life intro to these ridiculous chords that come soaring in, this is gigantic. This track feels like a journey within itself. These vocals, oh man, they they are, I think, are my favorite here. As a matter of fact, I love just how raw and intense but sort of filled with sorrow the vocals across this entire album come off. This track is tear-jerking at times, gorgeous at others, and just filled with heart, but it's also rugged and pummeling and vicious. It's over 11 minutes long, but the first thing I wanted to do when it was over was honestly start it over again. Even some of the more acoustic moments here don't come off cheesy. They actually add a lot to it. Uh, between this and Gate Creeper, I don't know what's up with 10 minute plus metal tracks that are probably going to end up on my favorite singles of the year. Harakiri for the Sky, to me, sound very refreshed and very rejuvenated. Now, overall, I adore this album. I absolutely love it. Quick couple of things that I want to point out, though. A, the length. It is an hour and a half long. That is not going to be for everybody, especially if you're new to this band. I wouldn't recommend starting here. Not only that, this album's length, you know, I personally don't hate it because there's so much great material here. However, the one or two tracks here that I despise or just, you know, I'm not that into, the length really comes into factor a lot more. Once Upon a Winter, not that into. And it's a shame because this atmosphere, this 
icy, cold atmosphere is awesome. But some of the vocals here, ironically, don't really do it for me. They sound a little flimsy. And because of that, I kind of nitpick on this track and just hear some other things that maybe don't hit me nearly as hard. Like the tinny production on this track. I don't know what's going on with that. And like I said, for a 10 minute plus track that I'm totally not that into, it kind of gets rough. And Time is a Ghost, also, not for me. And it's a shame because it's one of the most heartfelt tracks here. My problem, though, is everything kind of sounds sloppy here. We get elements of thrash and death metal, which is cool, but for the first time here on this album, it just really comes together very sloppily, crashing into one another. But outside of that, I don't think there's going to be a metal album on everybody's top 10 lists, or it's going to be a metal album for everybody, but... Personally, this is what I crave. Three Empty Words is one of the most crushing tracks here, but there is not a single wasted emotion in sight. Every growl, every riff has a purpose, and that's what I love in metal. And you can argue that this is overblown and over the top and ridiculous, and guess what? You're right. But I'm a man that desires his metal to be completely blown out of proportion and larger than life. The thundering riff, the blistering drums, and it's just catchy enough to stick with you. This is a check plus for me. And Oceans Between Us 2 is pretty awesome. I love the way this band just continues to carry themselves. The soaring guitars here are awesome. Dare I say, as far as a slightly melodic tune goes, this may be the one that sticks with you the most on this album. Don't even think twice that it's legitimacy. It is just as vicious as every other track track here. And I was worried about Silver Needle, Golden Dawn, like just from the start of this, it may be the most cinematic track here, but it's well thought out and it's super confident. Like Harakiri for this guy, take this sound and go with it. The performances here all around are just brilliant. I don't want to rehash myself talking about awesome soaring guitars and thundering drums. Let me tell you, they're all here in space, but nothing comes off rehashed. This sounds like an exciting new chapter. And so long to say goodbye a placebo cover and this album off and I think it's great. I love the drama to this track, the way that this starts off with this gorgeous little piano part and this intense instrumental builds up underneath. And for a cover, I think it hits it out of the park. It's gritty, it's cinematic, but it ends up summing up a lot of the emotional side of this album so well. It also has a great mystery to this track. I really hope it's not another four years until we hear from this band again. Like I said, the hour and a half runtime of this album Album and just how long some of these tracks are is intimidating. This might not be a metal album for everyone, especially if you haven't heard this band yet. I'd recommend going back and listening to their first couple of albums first. But between the grandiose instrumentals, the intensely raw vocals on this album, and just the cinematic vibes of all of it, this is most certainly my cup of tea in modern black metal. I am feeling a decent eight on this thing but let me know what you guys think down below if you like the video be sure to give us a like give us a subscribe and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future and until next time have a great day guys